all aboard for another messy express piece of commentary we're gonna be doing on Portia Williams yes Portia Williams was getting together getting herself together to fly out to LA to watch the Super Bowl game yes she was fierce she was true to her hair this time no fakeness there and I'm wondering why she had to take off her glorious and fabulous go naked hair. Was it too hot? I think not. Uh, maybe she's giving her hair a rest to breathe. Possibly. It's plausible. But honey, she was cutting up. You see, she looked like a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, really. But other celebrities were there with their daughter. Of course, Jay-Z was there with Blue Ivy. And I did see a picture that I, uh, but it was kind of fuzzy. Beyonce was there as well, but she was up in the stands. And she was really outside. Like, you know, you'd be way up there in the nosebleed sections. That's where it seems like she was. But maybe she was just out there with her people. And didn't want to be in the little stadium box that they buy for special things such as that. And she didn't want to be down there with all those people. And I got to say, okay. And those are some more celebrities that were there at the Super Bowl game. LeBron, Ellen, and her wife. And I don't know who the other lady is. But J.C. said he got to be down there with all the action at. And for somebody who loves sports the way he loves them, I don't know why he never played. I never heard anything about Jay-Z playing sports when he was in high school or even elementary. But, honey, he was on the floor. He said, I got to see it. I got to see it all. Like, I'm I'm right there, up there with them, tackling folks and throwing and, and receiving and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, that's the difference between Portia and Beyonce. Beyonce traveled with her children. And she don't travel that much with them because they have full nannies. And wherever she goes, she shuts shit down. She going to make it like she was at home. But Portia, once again, she jetting out. She just was gone to Miami in January to celebrate, you know, New Year's. Now, we just one month after that. Now, she don't left the baby again. Yes, we being messy because we want to see her more with her daughter. It's like her daughter's growing up with her daddy and her mama versus her being there and i saw portia singing on her instagram uh today uh, she had a live video stream and she was in her car allegedly that simon had purchased for her or maybe at least who knows you know what i'm saying can't never tell with him and they were out and about and um and she might still have it on her instagram account on instagram stories she was waiting on him to come back from buying some cigars. And I'm like, that man, that man gonna smoke himself to death. You know what I'm saying? It's not good for her to secondhand smoke. And the damn soul ain't good for her daughter. And I hope that PJ just coming over there visiting. And she's not actually sleeping over there. Because the house filled with cigar smoke all the time. Like he has no... He's just selfish. I'm like, damn. I, I, that's all you gotta do? Is sit there and drink, smoke, and party all the time? When is he doing work, Portia? That's why I want to know. When is he doing work, baby? But, yeah, she was waiting on him to come back. And then it's kind of cool out there. I don't know if they was in L.A. or they in Georgia. But I think it was in Georgia where they were at. It's cool down here. You know what I'm saying? He going to have the nerve to drop back the top. And then put his hoodie on his head. Like, how dumb is that? How dumb is that? The man, damn, this 60-something years old. If not 60. And he riding around with the top let down. This ain't summertime. Hell, this ain't even spring. You don't really want to do it in springtime. Because all that pollen falling down on your leather interior and all that stuff. I don't know where she got that man from. But she need to send him back. But anyway, Portia was at the uh, Super Bowl. Yeah, she was at the Super Bowl. Rocking her outfits like she ain't even engaged or with somebody. Because the suit that she was wearing was like, I'm free. Come get me. You know what I'm saying? The, the outfit was just so... I don't want to say prostitutish, but I, I don't know what to say. But y'all look at the pictures. Y'all let me know. Uh, but it was like, I'm available. Come come and uh, approach me. That's the outfit tease it was giving me. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Portia got a nice body. And she can wear all the sexy, skin tight, cat suits wearing outfits as she want to. But to me, that's not like you were really dressing for 
with some conservativeness is what I'm saying. You know, uh, and, and to me, I don't know where, maybe her husband didn't see her either. Or, uh, you know, I don't know what they were doing. But that's the outfit I'm saying. Everything is caught where you can see the print of their vagina. And at least she's covering up a little bit with her breast. But it's just like, it, it's too much. It's too much. So I'm like, couldn't PJ have enjoyed that? that outing but then again that's probably not something for her to be around she probably wouldn't like all that noise so on caution for that part it was best but i think you should have stayed at home still and had like a little party or something with all the family over but we know you like that jet set life and i hope um dennis is not really paying attention to you this time because you know that would kind of look bad as well if you wanted to sit out and put all the times that you travel and you leave your kid on the grandmother or grandmothers and him but bravo did a little write-up on her um on valentine's day is actually and lauren her harino is the one that actually wrote up the article for bravo she titled it portia williams bought all the glamour to her sparkling super bowl ensemble okay uh, the Porsche Family Matters cast member just proved that yes, you can wear a silver sequin two-piece set to a sports game. Well, honey, that's all Porsche wanted to do was all eyes on me. Of course, she's going to dress to impress like she ain't off the market. But she's supposed to be off the market, right? I know, we're back in Messyville. She's dressing, she's acting, and she's definitely putting it out there that I'm single. At least that's what she's giving us from the optics, of course. But let her say something else. She'll say she um getting ready to get married. But yet we still don't have a date. She's st- her name is still not on the house. I don't know what we can keep. Can we keep up with the lies that Miss Princess Portia gives us on a daily basis? But anyway, going back to the article, it says no jerseys and face paint here. Portia Williams just scored a touchdown with her unexpected Super Bowl attire, as you can see right there, on February the 13th. The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia's Family Matters cast member, showed off her ultra-glam look for the big game, proving that no event is too casual for her elevated fashion prowess. In four separate Instagram posts, Portia, um, wait a minute, hold on. Portia gave fans a look at her striking ensemble. The uh, pursuit of Portia Arthur donned a sparkly silver two-piece set consisting of a long s- sleeve sequence shirt which Portia styled into a crop top as you can see um, and high-waisted wide leg pants. The fashionista paired her outfit with shiny silver heels and large hoop earrings. Portia amped up her look with game-winning glam. The Real Housewives of Atlanta mom flaunted black wing eyeliners, long fluttery lashes, and brown eyeshadow. She finished off her makeup with a coat of pretty pink lip gloss. Super Bowl 2022, she captioned a post adding a football emoji for emphasis. Okay, and that's where she went with that. And it says, while Portia can work a football stadium like a red carpet, when it comes to actual red carpets, her attire is even better. In December, Portia served one of her best style moments to date in a sizzling corset gown at the 2021 People's Choice Awards. Her stunning frock and sexy yet elegant details like a sheer bodice and thigh-high slip. Child, yes, Portia was serving us every time she stepped out on her social media account. Every time she step out in them streets, she's letting us know she's here. We don't ever have to worry about Portia missing a week of posting something on her Instagram account, her Twitter account, and whatever other account she has out there. Hell, she might have a TikTok for all we know. But she's going to make sure she's glammed up and she's printed. Now, don't that outfit says, take me, I'm yours. They don't say nothing about... I'm uh I'm married. I'm getting ready to be married. I'm taken. And if damn sure J C can travel with his bundle of kids <laughs> and Beyonce in the background, surely Portia can do better with Mrs. Um, P J. You know, 
Peach, she need to really have been at home if you want to know the truth of the matter. She should have been at home throwing a fabulous uh, Super Bowl party instead of her flying out to L.A. Now, I don't know if she went out there with the men or were they there and they let her dress like that. Or, you know, Simon just don't really care. He just like to see his woman just like that. Who knows, okay? Like he's slow. He looked like he probably needed to take a nap. So, in essence, she could have just left him there. <laughs> but then for optics use, she probably wanted him by her side. Not all the time. But by her side if she wanted a professional picture taken. And they wanted to see her with this rich billionaire, millionaire, allegedly, uh, Liberian. Oh, is he Liberian? African man, okay. I was like, Lord have mercy, this girl just won't stop. She won't stop, can't stop, is what she's saying. And she was singing some song with MJG or something like some rapper. I'm like, this child can't sing. I don't know what, who told her she could, but I guess she was doing auto tunes when she was making Flatline. Okay, but that's all I have for this particular video. Like and love, you gotta have more. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and share my videos, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.